In this video, I wanted to show uh, kind of a link to model inside Revit and uh, the tags that we have used in CAD and uh, how we can customize things inside Revit to have the same effect that we had in CAD. So this is a linked model in Revit. So I wanted to just zoom in and show you the customized tag. So here's a tag that says 240 CFM and a diffuser type A and a neck size of 10. So here again it's a 350 tag type is A and neck size is 10 and uh, it's a big uh, floor plan has a lot of call outs but in any case I wanted to show you the diffuser tags that were done in CAD. Now here is another screen uh, showing the customized diffusers and tags and this is a Revit model. The background is black and so it appears to be a CAD but it's a, a Revit model and I wanted to zoom in and show you what we got. So I placed in six different diffusers with a different uh, neck sizes starting from 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 and uh, these are bi-directional. What, what do you mean by bi-directional is you can change these dimensions inside the component or you can change it from tags. So let's um, change the CFM in the component graphic component model. Let's say we say it's 100 CFM and you can see it changes in the tag like 100 CFM there. If you change it back in here for 500 CFM it automatically updates the graphic component model with 500 CFM and um, you can change your tags in here it's going to ask you it's a type parameter but it still you can change it so you can change that to B you can change it to whatever value that you want um, and we'll put it back to let's change it back in the model uh, we'll go to the model and then we'll um, change that to A. So that look at the tag now the normal refuse uh, um, the normal Revit diffuser tag doesn't show up like this. This has to be customized by bringing in the model and linking the model to this tag and having a graphical representation of it. Only then you could work something like this. Now <clears throat> at the bottom we have a little bit different neck size that is a square neck size. I uh, see the same diffuser type, the CFMs, the tags but here instead of a round type you have a, a rectangular or a square type neck size and once again this can be changed in the tag or in the graphic component model uh, so let's try this out go back to our instance parameters and see if you can change this to 8 inch by 8 inch neck apply so you see that kind of changes and it also changes graphically inside the model but uh, we don't want to change it now let's leave it back to 6 inch by 6 inch now these are inbuilt values when I develop the model so you don't really have to worry about changing it all you have to do is go and pick up the library and bring up this particular model uh, that's about it and in the next video I'll show you the uh, the tags and the component families that I developed to uh, have this customization take place.